Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm going to show you guys another repair that's uh, pretty common on these Freightliners. Uh, I'm sure other trucks as well. Um, you can see my air tanks here. Um, you guys might know what, know what these are called. These are uh, air check valves. And uh, something that happens with them, you see that one's popped out there, it's leaking air. There's a little seal in there. And those seals just basically just like to wear out. And... Uh, it's not going to hurt anything. I can roll like that, but I mean, it's just annoying to have to hear the air leak, you know, and just keep it on your mind like that. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's real easy. So we'll get that going now. But uh, this is the one we're changing. This one's still good down here, so I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So uh, first things first, see the uh, air pressure in the tanks here? Uh, we need to get rid of all that air pressure. Um, you, you basically need it to be as close to zero as possible. Um, the more pressure in there, the harder it is to get those fittings off and the more dangerous. So um, all you got to do is just, you know, let all the air out, stomping on the brake. And I'm telling you, you want to get all that air out of there. I know when it gets, you know, pretty low there, it feels redundant, but I'm telling you, even 10 pounds of air of PSI is a lot. So try to get that out of there, you know. Eventually, it just uh, will start dropping for you. Get as low as you can. Close to zero. Close to zero. All right, it's pretty good. That should be good, but just as added measure, I'm going to push this trailer release and uh, help get some extra air out of there. Let it just seep out. You hear it? Seep out all that air. Just let it go. Alright, so I'm just going to hold this here. And as soon as all my stuff's at zero, I'll come back. Okay. So I'm basically sitting at zero for the most part there. Um, so just, just something you can do. If you're hooked up to a trailer, you can unhook you know, the airline to the trailer there, and uh, you can hold this valve in. I'm sure even if you're on a trailer, holding that valve in will dump the air off. Um, so uh, that's just something I do to kind of help get the, get that last little bit of air out of there because eventually the brake will go soft and uh, it won't want to let out anymore. So uh, just something you can do there to get that little extra bit out of the truck. <gasps> so after we got that, now we're ready to actually change the part. So... We're going to go ahead and head out and do that. Okay, here we are back at the problem here. So this needs to come out. But first you need to disconnect this airline that goes to it. Now I'm sure a lot of your trucks are going to look like mine. They're going to have all this dirt. And you're going to have a hard time finding the line. You're going to be like, where's the line? You know. Um, but you can see see that line there? That's, that's what needs to come out. And uh, I don't know if you can see the lip there but there's a little lip yeah no, the camera's focused in there uh, when that's pulled out that's locked so you basically gonna have to push this ring in flat and then the, it'll let the line go so try and get this to go in there it's got a bunch of dirt built up around it I might have to get all this dirt out for it to let go Yeah, I'm going to go grab a flathead and scrape this dirt that's kind of clumped up around it. And I'll be back with that. Okay, so I used a flathead here. I got all this dirt out of the way. 
and then I grabbed the hose with my left hand and pushed it inwards and with my right hand I pulled this lip down and without all that dirt there it just popped in so now the hose should be able to to be freed out of there so I'm just gonna wiggle it out and it should let go I'm trying to let the camera focus here all right. I'm gonna need two hands probably I'm doing this solo but uh, let me get this out of here and then we'll go from there but uh, yeah make sure that lips flush down or uh, or you're not gonna get that line to let go so see it starts to want to pull it so you got to use you know one hand to hold that down and another to pull the line out so I'm gonna do that and we'll continue where we left off all right got the line out of there only took me just putting down the camera and it immediately came out I just needed two hands so um, it's not hard to do as long as you you know followed my instructions there and make sure this this lock is down because you'd be surprised how strong these locks are um, you know they look like the hose would just pull out but good luck with that okay so um, make sure that you get those down and you'll notice they're everywhere on the truck you may have not noticed before but after you've changed one of these you start noticing that these are everywhere so um, just you know it's good to know but uh, now that we got that free um, we just need to get this out of here and this is pretty much the only tool we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need one more actually a little hex key to get this out and put it on the new one um, but other than that this is basically the tool of the day so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna basically get it fitted like that and then I'll you know push down on it so it'll go left and it'll start breaking free and um, I'm going to go ahead and get this out. By doing that, I may have to actually take this line out so it's just out of the way, too. So, uh, maybe just for good measure, I'll go ahead and do that, too. Um, but see all this dirt? I'm pushing away the dirt, and you can see that the lip is starting to show. Kind of same scenario. But anyways, I'm going to do that. I'm going to, I'll go ahead and move this line, and I'm going to get this out, and then uh, we'll continue. Okay, real quick, here's the new valve. Still sealed in plastic. Here's the part number. I got this from Freightliner, just in case you guys are having a hard time finding one. So, um, yeah. Real easy. It was like 18 bucks. Pressure protection valve. There you go. There's another number. So, uh, yeah. There you guys go. I'm going to get back to what I was doing. I'm going to take that off and show you from here. Okay. So here we are again. Um, I did have to move this out of the way. Let my camera focus. Sorry about that. So I got this red line out of the way here um, that was going into there. And then back here I had a yellow one. And I went ahead and got that out of the way. And uh, that was really all I needed to do. This is the bad part. It was in here like so. And you saw we got that yellow line in the back there out. So what I ended up doing was I ended up turning this a little bit. About like to right there. And then I, I got this one out. So this is the fitting. We're going to reuse this fitting. See? So we're going to put that aside. This is our bad part here. We're basically done with it. All we need to do is take this out too. This is just a plug. Um, you know, if you had another extension in there, you'd plug in your other extension. You have, might have another one kind of like that or whatever. But this is just a plug. So we're going to take this plug and we're going to put it in the new one there. So we're going to take the plug out, put it on the right, just like the old one had, and then, you know, get this ready to put back on there. So we're pretty much done. You can see it's really pretty easy. Um, I didn't record the whole time I was taking it off because I don't have someone to hold my camera and I don't want to get grease all over it and stuff, but um, it was real easy with this. Um, if you didn't get all the air out, it's going to be very hard, like I said, and especially when you need to take these airlines out. I didn't catch it on camera. But even when I took these out, some air came out. This one and this one. And I was just thinking to myself, you know, I already drained it the best I could, and there was still pressure in there. So just make sure that you get all that air out of there. So, you know, you don't have the pressure built up in here resisting you. Plus, you know, if you start on screwing this and you got a lot of air, it's going to shoot out. So just something to keep in mind. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and figure out what kind of size hex key I need for this plug here 
and I'm going to take this plug out and put it in the new one, and then we can start reassembling. All right, so here we are again. I found the right key here that I'm going to use. Again, I'm going to use my sockets instead of a, you know, one of those uh, key ring style ones of hex keys. This is a Stanley again. Um, it says eight on here, so I, I'm sorry, I don't know the sizes of these. I don't work with these a lot. I just, <laughs> I just have them. Um, let me read the number here, in case you're interested. It says Stanley 87-975, and then again right here it's marked eight. So I don't know what that means as far as this size reference, but that's the tool I'm going to use to take the uh, plug out. So I'm just going to, you know, hold that with one hand, use my tool, get this out of there, and transfer it to the new one. And then uh, after I transfer it on there, I'll go ahead and um, put that new one back up there. And uh, we'll continue from that. Okay, so I just got the plug out. There it is, still on the tool. Um, just a little tip here. Uh, it was in there pretty good, so I just stepped on it, you know, and cranked it down. It broke loose, and then I was able to pick it up and take it out like regular. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this in there, and uh, then I'll go ahead and start screwing it up over there. All right. Okay. So I got the plug in here. Um, I tightened it down while it was off. Actually, I just stepped on it again, tightened it up. So this side has the plug. Now, the same way I took it off, and uh, I'm just going to put this fitting on, start getting this one in, get it nice and tight. Make sure that you uh, put your fittings back on the right side and, you know, everything so that they line up with the hoses like the original one did. Uh, make sure you keep your plugs on the right side, your fittings on the right side, and when you get everything tightened down, make sure it's facing, you know, the right direction. Um, again, this is basically the, the only tool I needed besides the hex key, um, and you could do this anywhere, even on the side of the road, if you got the right tools. Uh, these aren't urgent to replace, um, unless, you know, the whole back end comes out and you're just rocketing air. For the most part, there's a gasket in there, and it just wears out over time, and they start leaking. But, uh, you know, 18 bucks for this, you could do it on your own and keep away from the shops, you know. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to tighten this back up. And I'm going to angle it back like the, or the original way it was. And then I'll show you how the hoses go back in. And that'll be it. That'll be, we'll be done. Okay. So, uh, focus. Okay. So I got this fitting in here. It's tight. The um, plug is tight. Um, the elbow is tight now. Um, it's all good to go. Um... I had to bend that one there just so it was a little bit out of my way, but only one little turn is all I did, so I'm just going to put it this one little turn back. Um, so now I'm just going to connect these hoses here, and they're real easy. You're just going to use one hand and push them in, and I'm going to need two hands to do this, so I won't be able to record it. Because you want to shove them in as, as far as they'll go and keep this ring down. And then after the hose is in as far as it'll go, we can't push it anymore. Still continue to hold it in and use your other hand to pull the ring up. And then that'll lock it. And you can test this by um, yanking on these after they're in there. And you'll see they're not going to come out. As long as this is locked out, you're not going to get the hose back. So I suggest you do that just to make sure before you hit the road, you know. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get these lines in. And uh, then we'll continue. Okay, so we got them all in. All the lines are in place exactly where they were before. Um, again, I had to use a lot of force, push it in with one hand, pull it like this as hard as I could, and then kind of just another little quick side note. When you get back in your truck, build up your air to max, and then shut it down, and it should be dead silent. All right. 